his fifth season as head coach at Mount Union. Vince has a 55 and four record, including a national championship and final four appearances in all four of his seasons. Here to talk about the Purple Raiders, Vince Karras. Well, this is my fifth year doing this, and uh, I think it's the first year that I had to go last, I remember. And sitting here waiting for a while, trying to think of what's the advantage of going last. I can't think of any. I can't think of any. Everyone's hungry. Everyone probably has to use the facilities, and I'm going to be short and sweet, um, like Kyle, Coach Logan requested of us. Uh, first thing I want to say, and you know, sitting here and, and listening to the other coaches talk, <coughs> Um, really put in perspective to me what a great fraternity that we're a part of in coaching football. I think our league lost some, some great coaches, some great men, uh, some men that, uh, that were role models for me coming up as a young coach. Um, we lost some great assistant coaches. Uh, one of them was on my staff. And, and I think you know, that's part of what this fraternity is. It gives other men opportunities, get young men to, to move up and, and get opportunities and you know, getting together with all of you, you know, and, and getting a chance to, to interact and, and uh, it, it just reaffirmed that to me. Uh, I, I, just like everyone else, I want to welcome the new coaches. Uh, obviously, we know your background and, and uh, uh, you know, what, what kind of challenges lie ahead uh, competing against you, but uh, we do welcome you to the league. Um, you know, Mount Union's outlook heading into 2017. Um, you know, we, we, we were a very young football team last year, you know, and, and you know, one of the disadvantages of standing and sitting here and listening to, to everyone else talk is, man, there are some really, really good teams coming on in the OAC. I, I, I can't remember a year with, with so many uh, returning players of note. Um, and, uh, you know, our, our team was a young team, but, but the advantage of that was we gained some experience a year ago. And I think our group, and, and it's a long summer, I'm looking forward to, to getting many of them back, having not seen them for a couple months, but I think that they will embrace the high expectations that, uh, you know, that, 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 that go along with, with Mount Union. Uh, I feel like they're motivated. Feel like they they have some confidence, um, you know, in, in what they accomplished and what and what could be ahead of them, and uh, I, I hope that they're poised. Uh, that's one area that uh, that I've really tried to work on, a characteristic that I admire in others and, and tried to uh, tried to emulate and work on, and I hope our players re reflect uh, reflect that quality. Uh, you know, having lost a, a, a very good coach, very good assistant coach, who was uh, who was our offense coordinator, has been the offense coordinator since uh, since I took over the program five years ago. Um, you know, it, it presented a, a new challenge. You know, one that, that I had faced as head coach um, of replacing a great coach. You know, and and, and, and handling that transition uh, I, I, after you know, thinking about it for a while and. and uh, you know, and talking with, with people that, uh, that, that have more experience than me and, and, and certainly, uh, um, you know, have been in that situation in the past, I felt like the best move for our program was to, uh, to, to move a coach over from the defensive side of the ball to the offensive side of the ball. And Chris Kappas has uh, been with me as a player, um, as a young assistant, um, as a, as a full-time assistant, and, and as a coordinator for the past three years. And, He's going to move over and, uh, and, and head up our offense, um, and, and I'm excited about that. I think he's a, a great young coach, a creative, innovative young coach, and, um, I, and I'm, I'm excited to, to see how that unfolds. Um, you know, that being said, uh, offensively, you know, we, we, it, 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 several people have said it. You know, it, it's uh, it's in the trenches. You know, it's a game of blocking and tackling, and uh, certainly I believe in that. We're fortunate enough to have three offensive linemen back. Um, you know, we're shuffling around, trying to get the, trying to find the, the, the best, uh, uh, the, the best combination of five, and you know, and, and we still have some work to do with that. But uh, uh, Cole Parrish has been elected captain for us. He started at right guard a year ago, and he's back uh, along with Matt Fitchett, uh, who will be a three-year starter for us at, at right tackle. 
and uh, Michael Ears are able to return a guard, so we feel good about that. Uh, you know, like everyone, I think we're optimistic about what we have in some skill positions. Uh, you know, a lot of guys that uh, some, have some things to prove yet. Um, you know, at quarterback, we started three freshmen a year ago. You know, the, the plus is they all got some experience, they all got a taste, and uh, we'll head into uh, camp uh, and compete and see where we're at. Uh, receiver is a pretty strong area for you, and Braden will have a chance to come up and, and, and speak here in a few minutes. But, uh, you know, Braden's a returning starter for us. Uh, Jared Ruth is a returning starter for us there, and, you know, we feel like we have some talent in that pool. Uh, we lost some very good running backs. P.J. Mitchell was a four-year starter um, in our program, which is hard to do. So, um, you know, there'll be some guys that need to step up. Uh, I think Jawan's and Morris will, will be the leading candidate, you know, as we head into camp here. Um, in the kicking game, we, we return everybody. We, we had a place kicker, we had a, a snapper, a, uh, a punter, um, who will be a, a third-year starter, and a kickoff guy. And all those guys are back. And, you know, hopefully we can build on can build on what they've done already and continue to improve. Uh, the defense should be our strength. Uh, we, we were extremely young a year ago, having to replace some 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 outstanding players off that 2015 team. And um, you know, we gained some experience last year. We I believe I counted nine starters coming back. Um, starts up front, and uh, Michael Vidal was an All-American, the first team conference first team All-Conference player in our league, and. Um, uh, Adam Mahoki was a second teamer in our league, and uh, uh, Elijah Berry. Those three guys are, are guys that we're depending on. Uh, we have three players on, on defense that have been elected captain. Uh, Vidal, Charlie Deere at linebacker, and, and Brian Groves at safety, along with Braden and Cole on offense. So, you know, we feel like uh, that, that's, a, that's a group that we, that we can depend on. Uh, we're going to need to depend on a little bit as we as we grow up and get some experience at the quarterback position, continue to do that. I, I would also like to echo everyone else's sentiments of thanking Tim and Lindsey for putting this on. Obviously, uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, you see Brian stand back there, Ian was in here a few minutes ago. Um, David is the most dynamic speaker I, I think I've ever heard. And uh, what you guys are doing over here is unbelievable. Uh, and and uh, you know, something that, that all of us in Stark County are proud of it and continue to brag about. Um, I'd like to thank Lenny Reich, our sports information director, who does a great job, and his young staff, uh, Dean Marini, who's here today, who does uh, a lot of things for our program. Um, you know, the, we couldn't do this without the support of many people. Jeff Zupanich, who does a great job covering us for the Alliance Review. Uh, that being said, I know we're all hungry and, and looking forward to the meal, and uh, best of luck to everybody this fall.